Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com, and on this episode of Hot Lab today, I have a very, very special friend I'm hanging out with, the 2018 Mustang GT Premium in the absolutely gorgeous race red color. This one actually comes equipped with the performance pack and a few new options in the suspension and sound departments. I'm gonna be taking you through the ins and outs of the car. We'll talk about all of the new features and specs, of course. We're gonna strap it down to the dyno and see what kind of power it's making, and I definitely wanna feel that for myself, so we'll be taking it for a spin as well. Now, before we get into all of that, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on everything 2018 Mustang, as well as a bunch of other cool content because we have a lot in store for you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Well guys, it's about that time again. A new update for the Mustang family, and the 2018, like many others, has a very polarizing styling. For most of you, you've seen all the changes already all over the internet, but for those of you who have been hiding under a rock for the past year, I'm gonna walk you through it from head to toe in all of its glory. Now there's changes all over the place, from the front to the rear with visual changes, compression ratio and fuel delivery changes to the five liter, now making more power than ever before. It's got integrated Magneride suspension, now an option which we have here, as well as an active exhaust. Not to mention the new digital and very customizable gauge cluster. There's so much to talk about, but why don't we just start with the obvious, the crazy aggressive exterior appearance, and why don't we start up front here? Now, when we were first introduced to the new S550 in the 2015 model, the question was really, does this look like a Mustang? Some of you answered no, but for me personally, I think it was an absolute home run. It paid homage to some parts in the older models, both with classic pony cars and the Fastback, and with the S197s respectively, and that does not change here. There's a lot of familiar looks with the new 2018 redesign, but also a lot of notable changes. I mean, taking a look at the front in here, the most notable change, I think, is right here in the hood and headlight region. The hood dips down 20 millimeters lower than the recent years, giving it an elongated look with better aerodynamic characteristics, much like the undisputed badass Shelby GT350 and GT350R models. Now, these follow in the footsteps of the 17 and again will not feature the indicator lights being on the front end. Now, with me being so short, I'm actually not complaining because I'm not going to be seeing them from the driver's side anyway. Now, with that said, the headlights are now actually sunken into the body with what some people are calling an eyebrow where the hood kind of dips over. Now, previously, they were sitting pretty flush with the surface, so this being pushed in gives it a lot more of an intimidating look. Now, these lights change a bit as well. They're now seven-sided with a more angular design on the ends, which complements the now bent-end tri-bar LED running lights, which we will see again in the redesigned taillights in the back. Definitely more an intimidating look in my book. And now full LED lighting is also a standard across the board on the front end with the headlights, the running lights, and of course the new fog lights. Now moving down a little bit to those fog lights, they are completely different as well. Pre-refresh models of course have the fog lights mounted in the brake cooling duct here underneath the isolated turn signal light. Now that duct went from a five-sided design to a more triangular look, and the fog lights are now actually integrated directly into the turn signal strip on the inside, although much smaller than before, also with a standard LED. Now the turn signal indicators lose that bubbled look bulging from the top end and look a lot more aggressive with a much sleeker design than before. Now in the center, the all black gloss grille is another polarizing factor a lot of people are talking about. Now, Justin's first look when he saw this at the New York Auto Show, he did tell us he's not exactly a fan. Personally, I think it goes really well with Race Red. I don't think Orange Fury did it much justice at all. It has a very aggressive, narrower design than the 2017s and prior S550s. My one nitpick with this is the gloss black I don't think goes very well with the lower grille and splitter here because they are a matte black, more ABS textured finish. So they don't exactly mesh well together. I wish they were the same gloss black or the same ABS plastic look. But overall, I do still think this has a very aggressive front end design. Keep in mind, there is a lot of room for opportunities in the aftermarket world, so a lot of guys will be switching these up. Now, speaking of that front splitter at the bottom here, that also gets a new redesign for the 2018 models with the performance pack, which we have. Now, if you do have the performance pack, you'll be taking advantage of a fully functional piece here. Now, this one was actually designed and spent a lot of time in wind tunnels with actual NASA aerodynamics specialists helping with the design. That's pretty impressive just saying that out loud, but this is an extremely functional piece putting down 24 pounds of downforce at the front end at 80 miles an hour. Pretty impressive numbers, I'd say, and very functional stuff to wrap up the front end. And finally, the new wheelbase is actually widened just a little bit more to accommodate for that hood line, but as far as the front end goes, that is the most notable change here, so let's move on to the side. Moving on to the side profile of the 2018, not a whole lot has changed here as you can see, but uh, starting with the wheels, we do get a slightly different configuration. So we're looking at the performance pack wheels, the same exact wheel design and spoke design as the earlier S550s, now just wrapped around Michelin Sport Cup 2 tires, sitting at 255.40 in the front and 275.40 in the rear. Those are 19 by nine in the front, 19 by nine and a half in the rear, 
But if you get the Performance Pack Level 2, which Ford is now releasing for the first time in the new redesigned year, you will actually get a slightly different wheel configuration. Instead of 9.5s in the front and 10s in the back, you're getting 10.5s in the front and 11s in the rear for a 1.5 inch wider wheel on the Level 2s. A lot of information to take in, but they are a slightly different design there, and they're actually sitting on 305 tires in all four corners, a huge thing to point out for Performance Pack Level 2 owners. You will notice that the Brembo Big Brake Kit, a very popular six-piston Big Brake Kit, has made its way back into the Performance Pack models for the 2018, and they are wrapped around a larger diameter rotor. The only other notable thing here is that on your side mirrors, you are gonna retain the turn signal indicator for the premium models, as well as blind spot assists. Overall, nothing too crazy happening for the sides unless you pick up Performance Pack Level 2 models. So we flipped the car around to take a good look at the rear because there are a lot of noticeable changes here too. Now performance pack models will take full advantage of a brand new redesigned pedestal style spoiler for the first time in the Mustang's history off the factory line. Now we unfortunately did not get that. We actually went with a spoiler delete, which I'm kind of okay with because I'm not exactly a fan of that design. However, it is very functional. Now those NASA specialists of aerodynamics did help to design that as well, just like the front end splitter, only the rear end spoiler is gonna put down 60 pounds of downforce at 80 miles an hour, helping with rear end traction. Pretty impressive actually, so for those of you who got that on their 2018, you're gonna be able to take full advantage. Now directly under that, we are getting a slightly new redesigned taillight here, keeping the same kind of traditional iconic look that the S550s introduced to the Mustang world. Only now you're getting a more angular top end and angular bottom, which goes perfectly with the daytime running lights in the angular design of the new headlights. Now in between that, you're getting a slight change into the deck lid panel. For the most part, it is the same. You get a couple of creases on each side on either side of the badging. Now underneath that, your bumper is getting a slight change with a hexagonal shape surrounding your license plate. Other than that, it stays pretty much the same. The biggest change I will say comes in with your lower valance to accommodate the all new killer quad tip exhaust coming off the factory line as a standard on all 2018 Mustang models. Now the one we have on this car is actually the active exhaust, which I'm gonna put on the lift here to get underneath to give you a better view. So we had to get this thing up in the air to do it any justice, but those quad tips are being attached to a now active exhaust that we've previously only seen on the 350 and 350R models. This is now an option, a $900 option I should add, for any 2018 refresh model. Now 900 bucks in my opinion is not bad for what you're getting here at all. The active exhaust has chambers inside these mufflers that you can actually change on the dashboard to four different sounds. You'll get normal, quiet, sport, and track. Now normal mode is exactly what you think of, but once you switch it over to sport, you're actually changing things a lot. You're gonna get a lot more rumble, a little more backfire, definitely some more noise, but it's not too overbearing. Track mode at its highest rating is gonna be all out race, exactly what it sounds like. It's for the track. That thing is pretty loud and we're gonna test that out on the street and see what that sounds like in just a minute. Now with that track mode, I will say it is at its highest quality setting with 80 decibels coming out of those quad tips. Now quiet mode is on the complete opposite side of the spectrum. It's perfect for guys out there who are driving with some passengers, maybe a wife and kids, who are looking to keep the volume noise down to a minimum to have an easy conversation inside the cab with no drone. You can actually schedule the quiet mode exhaust to start with its new technology at say 6 a.m. when you wake up and the neighbors are still sleeping, you're looking to keep it down to a minimum. You can have it start up at 72 decibels, which is very, very low. For comparison, that's actually the same amount of noise an automatic Honda Fit makes while going 70 miles per hour on the highway. It's pretty crazy stuff. Now for anybody looking to have that adjustability on the fly, the active exhaust is exactly where you want to go and 900 bucks again really isn't too bad in my opinion. You'll probably end up spending around that range for a new catback, only this time you get it with the new technology and you can adjust it on the fly from behind the wheel. Definitely a huge bonus in my book. Now, while we're down here, let's talk about some of the suspension upgrades because they are pretty massive as well. Now, just like the active exhaust being previously only seen on the 350 and 350R models, the new optional Magnaride suspension is also the same case, and we have it equipped here on our 2018 performance pack. Now, the Magnaride suspension basically is a magnetically controlled adjustable dampening, which it's a lot to talk about. Now the Magna Ride is gonna be making adjustments at thousands of times per second to your suspension dampers, uh, trying to adjust to the different surfaces that you're getting on the road. Every rock and every pebble, it 
it's kind of making adjustments for inside the fluid. Now that fluid is actually containing magnets and being controlled by electricity, changing the particles and the whole construction of inside those fluids, uh, making those adjustments happen on the fly. Now there's a lot of science I'm throwing at you with that, but it basically in a nutshell is gonna make your steering a lot more responsive, make your ride a lot more comfortable and give you a huge upgrade in the handling performance when you're going around tight corners, keeping your Mustang a lot more linear. Now with that, our performance pack model comes with a few extra upgrades on top of that. You get a stiffer spring in the front, a larger sway bar in the rear, a new K-bember, unique chassis tuning, and of course you're getting a limited slip differential from Torsen, as well as 373 gears in the rear axles. Now obviously, this is gonna be a huge upgrade as far as acceleration goes, and if you're looking to not get the performance pack, there are a few other options. Magnaride also works hand in hand with your drag mode when you're on the track, obviously helping to shift your weight transfer to the rear end for better traction. Finally, if you're rocking the performance pack, you're gonna rock the 373 gears. If you don't have the performance pack, however, GTs with the six speed will see 355s, and EcoBoosts and 10 speed automatics will get 315s. Now Ford let us know that off the factory line, 460 horsepower, 420 foot pounds of torque at the crank were the numbers to be expected for the stock 18 GT. Now with that said, we strapped it down to the dyno and made 437 and 401 foot pounds of torque at the rear wheels at extremely impressive numbers. You wanna keep in mind that these new numbers are coming from the new dual fuel, high pressure direct injection and low pressure port injection combination, uh, as well as the higher compression ratio, making these new power numbers, making it the fastest and most powerful GT ever produced by Ford. Uh, a huge thumbs up in their direction for the new numbers here. So there's not a whole lot of difference inside here. So with our premium plus package, we have a nice premier trim package, nice uh, leather wrapped ebony seats with white stitching accents. It's really cool. We were working with the standard touchscreen now with sync three voice activated with this particular package. Um, obviously you've seen we have a six speed today, not the 10 speed automatic. One thing I do like, and it's just such a small detail, like the, the start and stop engine button here is completely stainless steel the lettering kind of engraved in there with the red light shining through. I love that. It's just super clean detail. Other things we have here are the modes, obviously the driving mode, we have steering modes, traction control, all of that's still the same. Um, the cool thing here is that the active exhaust, which we've talked about previously, is all set up here in your gauge cluster. That's where the biggest interior change comes into play. We now have this 12 inch fully customizable, fully digital LCD display. Not previously seen in any Mustang prior to this. Very, very customizable, and I'm gonna take you through that here. Now, obviously, right off the bat, if you're in normal mode here, you're looking at two pretty regular gauges, your tachometers on the left, speedometer on the right. You have gauges in the middle, and you can use your arrow keys to flip through them, very similar to the previous S550s. Uh, you have a lot of you know coolant temps you can track here. You have uh, G-force and things of that nature, um, all of which you can toggle through. The biggest change here is obviously going to be coming into play with the actual tachometer speedometer uh, kind of layout themselves and the gauge layout now the way you can actually change all of this is the new pony button located right on your steering wheel you hit that a new setting comes up here a new menu you kind of navigate through here my mode is going to pretty much uh, save all the settings you have as a preset to make it easier for you to toggle through now exhaust mode is going to be obviously a huge one in working in conjunction with your active exhaust uh, you would click on the exhaust mode to flop through quiet, normal, sport, or track. And you'd be able to select those, click out of your pony mode, and have that go directly into play, making the changes on the fly even while you're driving. It could be even mid-shift. Now, if you want to go back and change that, obviously exhaust mode, we can pop it back and say normal. Now, if you head over to track apps, you'll be given acceleration timer, brake performance, line locks making its return, lap timer is a great use for the track mode I'll show you in a minute and obviously your start option. So going back here, they'll be actually given a couple more options, performance shift indicator to help you with your shifting, launch control, and gauges. So in my opinion, a huge, huge bonus for guys getting a 2018. This is definitely an option you wanna add on uh, because it is an option for any model essentially, not just a performance pack. So if you wanna add this on, you can cough up the extra money and it's definitely worth it in my opinion. All right, so we're out here, 2018 Ford Mustang GT. It feels great. It feels really good, actually. We have the active mode exhaust on completely normal mode. Uh, we'll be switching through that throughout the driving here, but I wanted to start it off, you know, regular mode. I don't want anything crazy going on. I'll tell you right off the back, I have the steering in normal as well, and it's still just super responsive. Listen to that. 
That's normal. And it just sounds incredible. It's, it feels incredible. I mean, the suspension here is just kind of adapting as we go. And I, mean, like, I can see little bumps and things on the road as we're coming along. The little pothole I just hit there. The Magnaride suspension option, which again, the Magnaride's a $1,600, $1,700, $1,800 option to add on to your ride. It's absolutely ridiculous. With the performance pack, at least, you're getting stiffer springs, you're getting uh, the sway bar, the Magna Ride setup, which uh, works hand in hand with your drag mode. So when you put it in drag mode, it's gonna kind of adjust the weight transfer ratio to the rear. The way that this car's technology works together hand in hand and just makes your driving experience just like unlike any other. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna switch up our mode here to sport, is I'm gonna change the exhaust mode to sport. Wow, sport mode makes a difference. I, I, I'm kind of actually blown away at how much of a difference that made right off the line. You can hear the exhaust. The exhaust is definitely, uh, it opens up a little bit. So that active exhaust is gonna have those chambers that open up and just sounds so good. One thing we didn't talk about is one of the things that is new for 2018 in the transmission area is the twin disc clutch coming at standard on these 2018 models. Mustangs I've owned, I've done a lot of SN95 stuff. Uh, I'm a big Cobra guy, so my 95 Cobra. I knew that that's completely different as far as driving experience. This is just so much more luxurious. You're kind of relaxed back, you're hugged by the seat, your arm gets to rest here. Shifting is made effortless. Your clutch is just like absolute butter. So we're in sport mode with our active exhaust, which of course has the quiet, normal sport and track. I've upgraded the track. We're gonna open it up. It's pretty much your full out open style exhaust. It's, it's just gonna make a huge difference. So on the, on the highway, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Ooh, hear that? I mean, there's not a lot of drone. It doesn't sound bad. You know, it, it sounds pretty good. As a matter of fact, I can feel like I can hear like the road noise and wind more than I can hear the exhaust. Uh, my verdict for the interior and the driving experience, 10 out of 10, solid home run from Ford. Huge home run with the cluster. The different modes, it's just incredible. I, 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 can't, I can't say anything better about it. And all of that just kind of comes together in one 460 horsepower and I believe 420 torque beast. So let's take this back into the shop and uh, <laughs> get me out of here before I end up stealing this thing, huh? Well, that pretty much wraps up my review of the 2018 GT Premium Performance Pack we got here at AM. Uh, overall, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to get one for myself. Maybe not race red, maybe Oxford white, but who knows, we'll see. Now, before we get going, you wanna make sure you drop a comment below and let us know what you think of the new 2018 redesign. Tell me what you wanna see modded first because there's a lot of potential for aftermarket parts. You wanna make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well to keep it up to date with all 2018 Mustang news and builds in the future, as well as other cool content as well. And you wanna keep it locked right here at AmericanMuscle.com.